Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a re-engage message. Now what's a re-engage message? A re-engage message is a message that you can send to WhatsApp users that have agreed to get them from your business. They can be a lot of things, order confirmation, abandoned cart reminders, promotional messages, newsletters, other kinds of reminders, you name it. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a new re-engage message. First, go here and click on create message. On this next screen, you'll be asked to choose a WhatsApp template. Uh, if you don't know what a WhatsApp template is, check out a different video where I explain what a WhatsApp template is, how it works and how to create one. Choose your template. In my case, it's going to be this one and click next. And you'll see re-engage message interface open. So first, let's take a look at the left side of the interface. So on the left pane, you, you've got message settings. You can see uh, your template's name. Then you can choose when to send your message. Let's look at some options. We've got right away, which sends your message when you click send. You've got on schedule, which lets you pick date and time of when your message is going to be sent. You can also send recurrent messages or just repeat your messages uh, after a certain period of time. Uh, this could be every day, on weekends, every month, work days, or you can pick certain days uh, that you can tweak. And there's also an option to send your message after a certain trigger, after a certain event. Now, this could be a first interaction with your business, the last interaction with your business, or some custom attribute, some custom event that you want to set up. And then you've got uh, an option to choose what, uh, who will receive them, your re-engage message, what people are going to get them. And these are the main settings. You choose when to send it, choose who to send it to, and you're basically ready to go. Now let's take a look at the right side of this interface. Now on the right side, you'll see a flow builder. It works very similarly to our main flow builder. In this, uh, you can add blocks, you can add buttons, use connectors to connect your blocks and so on. So let me show you how you can use this flow builder to build a conversation beyond your WhatsApp template. So for example, as you can see in my WhatsApp template, I've got a main menu button. My users will see after they get the re-engage message. Now I want them uh, to click this main menu button and we'll get to the main menu when they can ask me more questions or learn more stuff about my product or pricing and so on. So uh, let's add this one block and let's say, what do you need help with? And let's add some buttons. Mm, let's say uh, shipping info. Let's say product catalog and um, I don't know, FAQs. Let's say FAQs. Now, all you need to do is connect this main menu button to this block and continue building your flow the same way you would do regularly. Connecting these buttons, adding information and such. And this will allow you to let your customers, WhatsApp customers, to click this main menu button and continue the conversation with your business simply after receiving one re-engage message. The last thing I'm going to show you is attribute mapping. Now, let's take a look at my template. As you can see, there's an error that wouldn't let me send my message. So let me show you what it does and how to fix this. So click on this card. And you'll see that my message goes like this. Your order blank of blank for blank is confirmed. 
Thanks for shopping with us. Now, what it needs is for me to add attributes. Uh, I'm going to add these attributes and you'll see what all of these means. So, in the first blank field, I need to add an attribute with order number. In the second one, I need to add an attribute with uh, my product, which is called purchase in my uh, bot. And in the third field, I need to add an attribute called cart amount, which is the total sum of the purchase. And this is what the message is going to look like. Your order, order number of purchase for cart amount is confirmed. Thanks for shopping with us. Uh, there's no more error here, which means you can start sending your uh, re-engage message. And this is what it's going to look like for your customers. This is what they're going to receive. Your order number uh, 450 of boots, which is purchased for $25, which is card amount is confirmed. Thanks for shopping with us. And of course, I forgot to add the main menu button. And that's it. Your re-engage message is now ready to be sent. I want to show you one more quick thing. Let's get back to the re-engage tab. And here you'll see the list of your re-engage messages. For now, we only have one, but you can have more than one, of course. So what I wanted to show you is you can filter these re-engage messages by their status and by their type. You can now send re-engage messages. If you need help, check out our knowledge base for more info. And if you still need more help after that, don't be afraid to contact our support team. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.